Hi there, thank you for watching. I hope you will. In this video, I'm going to talk about circle shapes, using circle shapes in your art journal or in your art. So let's get inspired. At the end of the video, I will also show you the student's results of this assignment. So make sure you watch it till the end. Let's get to my brand new art journal and this is the second page. I've already shown you this page uh, in one of the previous videos and thanks for all your feedback and thanks for your suggestions of things that could be in the background. I haven't worked on it yet but it will come and I will definitely share that with you too. But let's go to the second spread of this book in which I created a circle shape. On this page you see a cat. Hello Pearl. You can tell me, do you want more cats in the video or not? Because now I am uh, just giving her a little treat to have her in the video. Some people were complaining that Pearl wasn't doing so much uh, in the video. So if you want her to be in the videos, please let me know. But now I have to show my page to the people. So what are you going to do? Come. And this page I was already building up. We had a lovely garden session in the garden of Yvonne. And in, it was just before summer and we were almost going on a journey to France. And then uh, I, I just... Uh, drew some plants, some flowers, and these I think I dried them. So I had a lot of sketches using gouache. That was a new thing to me. Uh, Yvonne had gouache, so we were a bit doing experiments with new kinds of paints and surfaces. So when we were back home, I saw this page, and this part was just empty. It was just a textural colored background. And I thought it would be a bit empty. And in the first place, I wanted to do a big flower. But then I thought, it's already too much flowers here. So many flowers. And however I like flowers, um, I thought it would be nice to put a landscape with a pink sun or a pink moon or whatever. And the colors were all coming back. So the color of the craft paper, the color of the flowers here are here a bit faded or, well, vague flowers in foreground. I wanted it to be very abstractly and white. And I was really into that landscape. And what I did, I, I took a plate, not one like this, but a smaller one. And I simply had a circle shape on the page so I could work that out. I really love the aspect of using both of the pages. So not one circle here and one over there. The overlapping or the, well, the overlapping of the middle part I found really great for composition and I didn't do it exactly in the middle uh, because I thought this had nice effect and then I could place the, the moon or sun. I think it's sun, but it could also be a pink moon. A bit to the to the left of the image. So this was already there, and I'm not sure if I'm satisfied about that. But well, it's okay because I didn't want to remove it or overlap it because you could see the the paper. It's kind of thick paper, so I thought it was already in, so it needed to be in. Let's go to one of my older art journals, which is called Home. And actually, it has already a circle shape on the cover. And here I've been creating circle shapes with the jelly plates and some fabrics. So this one is actually the same one as I used uh, from the fabric that I did the cover with. It's the same fabric and this is a jelly print. Uh, we had a session with jelly printing and I really love the round jelly print plate. This is my round jelly print plate. It's a six inch. 
and it's looking like this and I use that one very often sometimes I feel a little limited by the round shape I also have square ones and rectangle ones but this one turned out to be my favorite also on this page you see the the, the shape it's not a circular shape exactly it's more like a drop or a leaf shape um, but it's nice to have uh, three different kind of sizes and shapes and here it's continuing there's this little flower also from a jelly print that I didn't use fully and here you see um, some other jelly prints I already have shown these one in one of my previous videos but just wanted to show you how nice it's working out with these um, jelly prints some uh, with this one I cut off a part of the of the print the some of these ones aren't jelly printed so I, I think I used this one and um, simply used the outline uh, so you can just grab some plates or bowls or cups and, and simply line them and the outline you can use for your circle shape. I'm not very good at drawing a circle for myself. So sometimes it's handy to have some tools. Sometimes I use this compass and it's, I think it's from my middle school or high school. I don't know. I have it quite a long time and it's very handy but beware that this one is uh, having a sharp point so you get holes in your paper if you press it too hard so it's better to get, have something underneath the page so you won't go through the whole art journal but I find it, it's very well it's better to use these kind of things and just draw a line and use that outline for your circle and you can always expand your circles with other shapes like I've done here so you could work like a mandala oh <laughs> I want to show a mandala but Pearl is sitting on the mandala so I come back to the mandala part later oh there she is you could also go for a mandala like shape I, this one is a bit inspired by mandala shape and this one as well my point is often don't measure too much it doesn't have to be too precisely just go for something that's inspiring girl wants to eat the jelly bites mm -hmm. it's not for cats So on this page I used a circle shaped text so I wrote I started on the outside and worked towards the middle and then there's the word silence and there's also a circular shaped outline cut out and then on the next page we see her face and here you see another jelly print that I created and it was based around the theme sun and moon so you can see the moon here the sun there and it's very nice to to take very organic natural shapes like the moon the sun an apple um, things you see in nature like berries or well, whatever you can find, stones, leaves, even um, the, 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 the crown of a tree, you can see as a kind of circle shape and use it for your project. If you do a circle collage, which I've done here already because we have here one, two, three, four. That's a, a template, but I thought it would be much matching the, the burlap page as well. And here a tiny little landscape so I have five circular shapes here and in the final project I even have more circles from that same jelly print session I created this one 
and I added it to the page that I've already shown you in one of my previous videos. So these and this one also are from the jelly print session of the previous book. There are leftovers and I really love that. And I also used this um, kind of circular template. It's a very nice one. So here I also did the text writing, um, but I didn't work it out to the middle because this, these leaves were already there and I didn't want to overlap those. And finally, this is the spread that I've been creating for the weekly assignment. So on this page, I first started with a background and it was slightly lighter than it is right now. I changed it later on, but I think it was something like this color. And I just wanted to have some shapes and then I had this big one in the middle because I never created such a big circle and I wanted to be brave and this one was that deep pink and I fell in love with this color I don't know why but I really love it the old pink kind of color and you see that in all my creations in all my circles I used the same colors so this one is also here in the dress of the woman. It's in the landscape. It's even a bit here in this landscape. And well, not in this one, but you see colors coming back. And this circle was just empty. This landscape was a bit visible and I was working it out on the go. And I thought it would be great to have a kind of mandala tree like shape here on in this one i wanted to keep it very simple and very well just like like the one in the page that i've been showing you i wanted it a bit to be like this one and then i saw a face of a woman i saw the the scarf of her uh, and, and a little dress so I worked that one out as well and also used the same grayish blue and paints gray for this one. Actually, there was another circle here, but I thought it would be a little too much. So I removed that one. And for this one, I also wanted to go for a horizontal um, thing to give the work kind of a balance. And sometimes I don't do that. For example, when I'm working on these kinds of collage, I was uh, aware of the direction in which the works were going. So circular shape, vertical, horizontally. Uh, so they're all having a different composition. And in this one, I wanted to keep most things uh, horizontally. So they are automatically landscapes then. This one landscape with a woman, a landscape with three, and this one just a landscape with that same moon. I, th I think this is definitely a moon because the sky is dark. And here I wanted to do something with my autumn, well, I think a, a poppies, poppy seed balls, and I wanted to do something with the shape. You see that even this circle is not having the same color, I am giving it slightly darker tones above and on top and here below you see it's getting lighter and you see me doing that everywhere. This sky color isn't even. This sky color is a bit more even but even here you can see that are cloudy like shapes and uh, the edge is a bit darker. Um, so it's not the same. Then there was this large circle with pink and I didn't know what to do. So normally you start building around one team and just go move on and continue based on that theme. But for this page 
there wasn't really a theme, only that there were landscapes. But what happened, I was hosting a flower workshop, a flower uh, lesson in my art studio. And it was a really strange thing. There was one lady and she wanted to paint the hibiscus flowers and she had one in our garden with purple flowers and then suddenly there was one white flower in the midst of those and I showed her my hibiscus in my garden and I looked at it and suddenly I saw one white flower too well mine is purple as well lilac purple and uh, so I found that a wonderful discovery that one uh, plant is having one specific color and then one of the flowers is white. I don't know how it came. Maybe you know the answer. I don't know. In the first place, I have drawn two flowers, but my work felt out of balance. I have a photograph of those uh, when they were with two of those, but for now I thought, no, it's already too much that this part of the page is, is, is um, that deep pink. So I thought one flower would be enough for this project. And you can also see that I've changed a lot in the background and here I used a little wallpaper, uh, there were these kind of leaves and I was just copying that a little. But I didn't want to glue anything on this page. I wanted it to be all painted and not with mixed media techniques. These are all, this is all acrylic paint and sometimes little details like this with Posca pens and um, I think the Durant ink tense pens, but I didn't want to add things, glue things down because this is the, the, the watercolor paper in this book and I found it wonderful if you, if you just overlap it with paint and you can also see that it's quite glossy because of the paint. And I, I quite like that. So this is my circle project. So now let's go to the students results. So that was it for this week. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you get inspiration to make your own circle project. Please let me know if this was inspiring and what things you have in mind to work on. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and turn on the notification bell so you won't miss the next video. I see you next time. Bye bye.